Executive Flight 1526 plunged into a residential neighborhood in Akron, Ohio. At the crash site, investigators combed through the wreckage for clues. We found the angle of attack indicator in the cockpit wreckage. That's important because at a certain angle of attack, the wing will stall. What angle were you at? It was damaged extensively, but they could see that the needle was in the red band. Investigators determined that the plane stalled as it approached the airport. Now they must understand why. Pull up. Pull up. It's great. Get that to Washington. The cockpit voice recorder from Executive Flight 1526 is recovered and sent to NTSB headquarters for analysis. The CVR is doubly important in this case, since the Hawker 700 wasn't equipped with a flight data recorder. While investigators wait for the voice recording, they work with what they have, the documents found in the cockpit wreckage. The weight and balance. Will you look at that? We found that the weight and balance didn't account for the auxiliary power unit. It's a, uh, a little jet engine in the back that helps power the aircraft when it's on the ground. So. They had no APU. The team wonders how this compares to what they discovered at the crash site. Hello, APU. Looks like they were carrying more weight than they thought. Investigators believe they found an error in the plane's documented weight and balance. Were they too heavy? I wonder how much this plane truly weighed. The pilots made their calculations without accounting for an APU. But there clearly was one on board. The NTSB calculates the actual weight of the plane during its final flight. The APU weighs 300 pounds. And according to the aircraft refueler, they were loaded with 8,160 pounds of fuel, but they only rode down 7,700. So how much in total were they over by? Uh, they were only 286 pounds overweight. The plane's actual weight was slightly more than what the pilots recorded. wouldn't really made a performance difference on the aircraft. The weight of the APU and the additional fuel was not enough to affect the balance of the airplane. But it did tell us that this crew and this company wasn't following their procedures appropriately. Somebody wasn't watching what they were supposed to be doing. Investigators need to look elsewhere to explain why Flight 1526 stalled. 